Hey guys, uh, it's engine assembly time, and um, I thought I'd cover some of the um, the main points. And um, in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at uh, the cleaning of the component before we we assemble. It's uh, it's a mission critical thing, and uh, a lot of people don't don't understand it. I mean, it's it's kind of simple, but it's just knowing it and doing it. Um, the first, the, the first um, phase is of course um, brushing off the worst. Uh, then we have to immerse and then the third phase could be actually um, final cleaning with, with petrol. Some people will just leave it at the at the second phase, which would be um, 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 a, a paraffin or a kerosene bath. But let's just see how it's organised. You know, just a little bit of organisation, otherwise you're going to be overrun with dirty fluids and, and that's no good, you know. You've got to get rid of them and, and all like that. So let's have a look and see. So we have our, um, our gearbox here and um, we have our obligatory um, washing off bath which is a chemical container and um, you can see that there's paraffin in the bottom now this has gone through the first brushing off phase and um, you start at either end like this let it settle have a cup of tea and you can see here all the heavy metal and grinding paste and whatever that it's like has all fallen out of the uh, of the paraffin and um, if we left that like that there would still be more um, falling out of the paraffin it's self-filtering but by doing this we can reuse the um, the filter uh, the the filtered paraffin and uh, so we want a nice uh, tin and then it, that which is still sort of dirty but all the heavy stuff has gone to the bottom and it's kind of sort of almost coloured And um, the last bit of dirt is at the bottom. You can just leave that that last bit of. And uh, in this in this way, you can see. In fact, what we can do now is that the components, um, the bathe in the paraffin. And therefore, the particles can be suspended in the um, in the paraffin and fall out. So we're not brushing it around; it's literally being washed off. And because it's heavier, it will ultimately fall to the bottom. Now, the idea of a third of a third wash with petrol is that it's so light. Um, it will evaporate off, and uh, but the lightness of it will um, will the the, the the particles will drop quicker rather than being suspended in a light oil. And it's still falling out of the light oil, but you can see that's suddenly now much dirtier, and we're good to go. On that one just the shims just dropped off at one end okay that's aside. and all those bits can come out and those are clean should be using gloves by the way really. Yeah, 
Okay, and then the other bits can also go in. Just if I can bend this. Hmm. How annoying, just not quite large enough. So now we use the same technique. We can use the same technique on the uh, on the gearbox oil. And this is the gearbox oil that came out, and you can see how um, all the paste and the metal filings have all dropped to the bottom. And um, yeah, the, the the gear oil is then clear. You can see that drop. completely clean and so filtering the oil by letting the um, the heavy bits settle over a week or something um, if you if you drain out and then leave the last quarter you can get even even more out and that will because the gearbox oil it can withstand that for a long time it's not a problem I say if you're buying new, new oil, if you want to buy new oil, obviously you can buy new oil, but there's nothing wrong with that oil. Um, yeah, and so the next stage would be to, um, to drain, drain this off into another container, because it can be used again, obviously, um, for other dirty stuff. There's nothing wrong with, wrong with this, it just needs them to be left for the bits to drop to the bottom. And then we can replace that with petrol and... Um, repeat a quick bathe of that and then that's that those are done and they can be completely covered and they're ready for um ready for um assembly in the engine and we can do the same with the um with the crankshaft and we'll do that straight into uh, into the petrol and get that all nice and, and and clean and then that can be bagged up and ready to go in the freezer okay cool